We're back from Charlotte with that major scientific breakthrough we mentioned at the top of the broadcast that could explain and change so many things even the experts have been trying to figure out about our health, why some people get sick and others don't, for starters. Our report from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. It's as though after decades of looking at the darkness of space, a fantastic new telescope has revealed new galaxies, allowing us to see millions of undiscovered planets. But this is not about outer space. It is biology, genes, ourselves. This is the first comprehensive look at how the human genome, that DNA instruction book inside all of our cells, actually carries out its functions. Until now, scientists have only concentrated on a small percent of our genes that make proteins. They've called the rest junk DNA, not understanding its purpose. But today's discovery shows that the so-called junk contains millions of switches that turn on and off other genes. I don't think it's junk anymore. I think it's actually, in a sense, it might be the gems of the genome or almost the most valuable parts of the genome. The new way of looking at the human genome and our DNA should reveal what determines a newborn's hair and eye color, height, and diseases later in life, ranging from Alzheimer's to heart conditions. It will also give scientists a new roadmap to find treatments for those and hundreds of other diseases. The research also solves a great mystery in biology, how we humans are so different from other animals when we share many of the same genes. No one can predict when the new understanding will lead to better treatments and cures for disease. But in the history of biology, the understanding of ourselves, scientists see this as a revolutionary moment. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.